Happy Mother's Day on this amazing day dedicated and focused on celebrating the mothers in our lives. And we are so blessed for them and what they bring to us. I think in my life, starting with Bernie, the mother of our 10 children, and the love, the dedication, the commitment to our family is the greatest blessing we have. And I think about my mother who has dedicated her life to her eight children, raising them in such a loving way through challenges and being able to always be there for them when needed. And I know there's so many of us who wish they could be mothers but haven't been blessed with finding their basharta or haven't been blessed with children. So I bless those mother, those women who want to be mothers that Hashem should give them that they should find their basharat and they should be able to be mothers because there's no greater gift than to be a parent than to be a mother. And for those of us who miss their mothers dearly because their mothers are not with them physically, please know that your mother's looking up from heaven a tremendous nachas from who you become. And although she can't physically hug you, she's embracing you and protecting you and looking after you. It's interesting because there is no such a thing as Mother Day in the Torah. In fact, the Torah doesn't even tell us to love our parents. The Torah tells us to honor our parents. Just last week, the Torah tells us to be in awe of our parents. Why? Because, you see, love is a feeling. But it's not enough to love someone. It's how you express it. What do you do for them? The Torah tells us we should never contradict our parents. We should honor them. We should never sit in their seat. There's certain things and values that we do that's beyond just the love, but how we express it. And that's the truth about what our mothers are. It's not just that they're our mothers, but it's the dedication, the nurture, the love they give us in becoming the people that we are. Fathers could sometimes teach their children, but their mothers are the ones that are living examples in the home of imbuing the children with Judaism, with care, with sensitivity, with love for others, with mannerism. In fact, the word aim, which is in Hebrew means mother, could also be im, the same letters say im, if, because a lot and mostly dependent on who we are and what we become is the mothers who are those shining examples in our life, who nurture us, who care for us, who love us. We start the portion Emor this week. God tells Aaron to tell the Kornim that they should educate the youth. And he uses the word, Rashi right away comments, Lahazir to warn those elder, to nurture and to educate the, the younger ones. But the word Lahazir, to warn, also means from the word Zohar, to illuminate, to make bright. And what God's really telling the Jewish people in Aaron is that the way we create healthy, loving, nurturing, proud Jewish mothers and fathers is by shining the way on them, by illuminating it through love, through nurture. Fathers my discipline. Mothers give the affection, the love, the light that allows the child to go on their own. Think about the matriarchs and patriarchs, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah. Think about the ones who had the intuition for their children. God tells Abraham to listen to Sarah because she understood what was best for the child. And the same thing is with Isaac and Rivka when it's concerning Jacob and Esau and the blessings. Rebecca was the one who understood and spoke the language to understand what their children need best. And so true is it in our own lives. I'm sure you could say, as I would say, as many fathers would say, that the best decisions for the children are always made by the mothers. And not only that, but mothers are much more focused and are able to separate what they want and need for what's best in the children in the greatest way. You know, there's a story about this lone soldier, the soldier, excuse me, in Israel. So every two weeks they would get a week off, a weekend off. Soldiers are young, 18, 19 year olds, and many times the soldiers would stand on the side of the road and they would look for a tramp, which is a, a ride to get home, you know, instead of taking the bus. And one week there's this soldier who's sitting with his bag and it is 
his laundry, his dirty laundry, you know, the kids love coming home, they come home to their mom, and their mom will fold their laundry, they'll have a delicious weekend of nurturing food and love from their parents. They're so young, they're in the army, training, protecting our country, and this kid's sitting on the side of the road, and he has his army bag, and someone pulls over and gives him a ride, he takes the bag, he throws it into the trunk, and the guy says, I'm going your way, and he gives him a ride home. He gets home, he gets out, and when the person who gave him the ride gets home, he realizes that the army bag was left in the trunk. So he heard his name, he figures out how to find him, he calls him, he says, hey, listen, Sunday morning you're going back to the army, I'll meet you at the same side of the road, and I'll give you your bag back. And the kid's thinking to himself, the soldier, all right, now I'm going to have to have dirty clothing for another two weeks. Everything in my bag that I was hoping to bring home, my mother would take care of, but now I'm going to have to wait another two weeks. Sunday morning, he meets this lovely man on the side of the road. The guy gives him his bag, his army bag, and he goes to, the, goes to his army base, back to training, back to, back to protecting the Jewish people. He comes to the army base, and he opens up his bag, and lo and behold, he sees all his clothing clean, fresh, folded so nicely, his army pants, his army jacket, his shirts, his socks, everything was folded neatly. And on top was a bag with chocolate chip cookies, freshly homemade. And in there was a note in Hebrew saying, Dear soldier, thank you for allowing me to be your mother for one weekend. Love a Jewish mother. The story of the dedication of a mother. The mothers in our life. And Hashem bless us all to celebrate happy times, to appreciate the mothers and what they bring to our table, to our homes, to our families. And may all those that want to be mothers become mothers, God willing. And to all those that miss their mothers, may they feel the hug they get this Mother's Day. Have a great day.